Okay, so a linear Bezier curve is if is if you just have is defined by two points, and it's just the straight line between the two points. Very smooth, and that's you know all we need. What happens? What happens if I? What happens if I add another point? Let's say here. Now, we have two points running along here, like this. Focus on the blue points for now. And the green point is running along the blue line. Getting from one side to the other. And this traces out a curve that's pretty curvy, and you know, <laughs> cool. What happens if I add a fourth point? This is a cubic Bessier curve, it, and it's basically really similar. You just do, you just do the thing again. You just so you have instead of four points, we boil down to three points by by doing this. <laughs> And then we boil the, those three points down to two points, and then we, and then we boil those two points down to down to a single point, and we trace out what that curve does. So according to how I slide it, they get from one side to the other. One interesting thing I can do is I can move these points around, and if. And, and one thing that's interesting is wh what happens if, if if the curve intersects itself, if the straight line path intersects itself. Then the curve path will also intersect itself. Look at that! <laughs> that's like a little bow tie. Yes! <laughs> Okay, let's get let's get the four points back to normal. I'm gonna, let's do one more example. Let's do this sort of S shape. The Z shape. Now we get the sort of concave curve. Integral sign, but the mirrored. Yes, <laughs> and we can carry on. We can we can turn five points into four points, into three points, into two points, into one point, and trace that point around. Gets us a quadratic Bezier curve. So a linear Bezier curve is made out of two points, a quadratic Bezier curve is made out of three points, a cubic Bezier curve is made out of four points, a quadratic Bezier curve is made out of five points, and so on. Uh, let's do our uh, S thing. Zigzag. <laughs> I'm just admiring the artistic properties. You can see it's now instead of a curved thing, it becomes straight in the middle. <laughs> Finally, what happens if, if the curve intersects itself? Something like this. 
then it's not guaranteed that the orange curve will intersect itself too. No bow tie anymore. Um. Yes, but if I do something like this, I think, then you can see it's a. It looks like it's three dimensional. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like a sharp corner there. It's a sh sharp corner there, and that's because the dot slows down and then it stops immediately, and then it starts going the other way. And I can't get it to intersect itself. If I do this. Hey. Finally, we got it to intersect. Let's just stretch this out here. Yeah, you can see I got an intersecting spline. This algorithm is actually so common that it's built into P5. Although I just wanted to explain it, so I just built one of one of them uh, myself. It's so it's so common, and it's used in P5. It's just really common. If you want, if you want, have it have like a, a one way to make a curve is just to do lots and lots and lots and lots of points. But then a, a, this is a nice shortcut. There's a you know the sort of Bezier thing that that generates a nice spline curve. So this is so this is really common in the graphics design world. Um, so also you most commonly see this multiple curves attached together. So. So in, so instead of just one busy curve describing an entire object, that doesn't really, that's not really likely to happen. So you just, so you just attach many of them together. You might even, without realizing, have already made a busy curve when you've used any sort of like um, picture editing software, like Photoshop or Microsoft Paint, for example. Um, for example, in Microsoft Paint, I uh, there's a there is literally a curved line button, and I think I'm not sure, but I think it uses a Bezier. <laughs> so, uh, um, it, it it generates a cubic Bezier basically. It, the reason why not a quadratic Bezier is a quadratic Bezier only really gives you sharp corners, which is what, which is the whole reason why we're doing. A Bezier curve is to avoid sharp corners. So, so, so you should really just go with cubic Beziers. That's that's all you really need for anything. <laughs> but you're saying that it's built in, but you programmed it from scratch. Yeah, I I programmed it from scratch because you uh, wanted to understand how it works. Yeah, I want to uh, to just oh uh, a little program that just explains how a Bezier curve works and so how such a useful thing works because you might to think you just curve off on, on some sort of vertex path. That's that's not how it works at all. You just it's 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 way more complicated. It does not touch all the edges, for example. Um, and so there's another uh, sort of spline that curves off. Uh, called the Catmulron spli spline, I think, I, I, some, something like that, and it does actually touch every single edge, but it's but it's more like curving off instead of just generating a curve from scratch with a bunch of control points. That's what 
That's what this busy thing is.